welcome to our July weather and sightings report. July began with cool, showery weather across the UK with northwesterly winds. For most of the first half of the month, high pressure was close to the south and west, bringing largely dry weather and plentiful sunshine over much of England, especially the southwest and also to South Wales. The second half was generally more unsettled, with frequent westerly and southwesterly winds, but with an exceptional hot spell from the 22nd to the 26th which saw record-breaking temperatures in many parts of the country and also widespread thunderstorms. Winds were low for most of July, although strong in the southwest near the end of the month. The month of July marks the height of summer and is the time when many cetacean populations can be seen in coastal waters around the British Isles. It is therefore no surprise that we had more than 1,000 sightings this month, particularly since National Whale and Dolphin Watch started in the last week of July. Harbour porpoises, as always, were the most commonly seen species, occurring in small numbers around all the British Isles, but particularly in the west and the northeast. Bottlenose dolphins occurred in their usual haunts of West Wales and East Scotland, but also along the east coast of England, as far south as Suffolk. Common dolphins were reported all along the west coast of Britain from Berryhead in South Devon, around the southwest peninsula, up through the Irish Sea to Northern Ireland, the Hebrides and west coast of Scotland, occurring unusually as far north as the Northern Isles. Some groups were very large, numbering up to 300 animals, for example in the western Bristol Channel. Groups of up to 50 white big dolphins were seen in North Scotland from the Minches on the west coast around the Pentland Firth to Orkney and Caithness. In the North Sea, white beaks were recorded down the east coast of England, mainly around Northumbria, but also further south at Saltburn in North Yorkshire. On the south coast, a small group was observed at Falmouth in Cornwall, probably part of the population that normally resides in Lyme Bay. This month saw the arrival of pods of Atlantic white-sided dolphin in the Shetland Isles and the Outer Hebrides, with group sizes up to 350 animals. Risso's dolphins were also seen frequently in the Northern Isles and Hebrides, as well as in the Isle of Man, with groups numbering up to 20. Small numbers of killer whales or orcas were sighted a few times in Shetland and Orkney during July, whilst a pod of 22, including two calves, were recorded east of Shetland, around the Magnus oil platform. A possible northern bottlenose whale, normally an inhabitant of deep waters, was reported off the coast of County Antrim, and a possible longfin pilot whale was recorded off Apadaran in northwest Wales. Minky whales were seen during July over large parts of the British Isles, although most sightings occurred in the Northern Isles and Hebrides. The species was seen off the coasts of eastern Britain, as far south as Alford in Lincolnshire, with sightings concentrated around the Moray Firth, Firth of Forth, Northumbrian and North Yorkshire coasts. Minkies were also reported from a number of locations in Devon and Cornwall, 